All right, Wednesday. Oh, yeah, oil. You got it, man. So, jumping around, there's our crude oil contract. I'm just going to close out these for some clarity. So, we're looking at the April contract. Quite a run up from yesterday, right? Uh, I didn't see the API. There's your volatility, though. I can't see there's it. There's a drawer of, I think, uh, 6 million barrels, I think. Okay. 5 .5 so, I can something. just, you know, yeah. I automatically 430. You can usually right. find the spot on the chart just by sticking out. And, um, so let's just jump in. We'll see what kind of contracts we got going on. We're going to jump to the crude oil. Let's see first where the 11 a.m.s line up. So again, we're trading at 57.82, what might be a nice price point if you wanted volatility from one way or the other. You didn't want to pay too much intrinsic value, kind of like we're talking about with Kevin, right? Yep. You want the most leverage you can get. Um, and really, if you pay a lot of intrinsic value, you got to pay a lot for that, right? right? That's versus just paying a very little premium where it's kind of like an at-the-money option yes. that you're looking for, right. right? You don't want a deep in-the-money option because then you got to pay for all that intrinsic value. Right. Um, you don't want necessarily want a deep out-of-the-money option right. because then you're just paying a lot of premium for a real outlier event. Yeah. So it's kind of nice when they line up right kind of at the money. Um, so 57.81, ideally maybe we'd be looking for 57.75. Yeah. 58 wouldn't be the end the world if you had a little bearish bias, but the 11 a.m. is not really going to give us a great option. You got either 57.50 you can have exposure for, okay. you got 58.25, all right, so let's jump around. We'll jump to, now what's good is I already know that the, the price points are <coughs> going to be different, and I know that because this has been moving one way, right. and that's positive. So these are going to get readjusted every single time they open, so jump into the noons. See, before I even look at them, I look knew they were going to be different, right? I didn't know they were going to line up, but right, yeah. I knew they were going to be different because the price is moving throughout the day as they're getting set. So, here would be your bullish spread. You got a buck fifty to the upside. In this contract, you can have about five pennies of intrinsic value. So, that's costing you about $29. Co uh, contract strain of fifty-seven eighty. You have five pennies of intrinsic and the rest being basically premium. And then on the bearish side, this is going to be slightly out of the money. It's going to be a little bit cheaper. You're looking at 22, so you're looking at $50 or 50 okay. cents away from that 57.75, and that's till the noon. So not bad. And we've had some volatility on oil, right? That oh, seems yeah. a little bit pricey, and it might just be because of these moves. We're up at $58 now, um, but let's see how some of the 230s line up. Okay, so excuse me. The main daily is going to give us 57.50, and the $5 spreads are going to give us basically 57. Uh, now, again, you, you know, we always look at the volatility because it's nice. You don't have to pick right. a side. You don't even have to decide whether it's going up or down. You just decide, is this price worth paying with the EIA numbers coming in six minutes, right, versus the volatility? Um, and most of the time, it seems pretty affordable. Today, though, it's a little pricey. It is. Uh, no, it that's is. where you want to get used to these. It, a, is, it is. It's not that it's a big move, but we've already moved a lot. We have, and you have to keep in mind that if you only close out one side of this trade, your max profit is a buck fifty. Right. So you're putting up fifty Ooh. cents. Yeah. And unless you plan on, which we talk about, you can close out one you know, side of it, you get a spike, right. you look for a pullback or something in one way. But realistically, you just get a one shot move in one direction, right? You're risking fifty to make a buck fifty and then you're capped. So that's right. where, you know, when you start getting into 50, 60 cents, that's right. it's not a lot if you have unlimited potential, like an option. This isn't like an uncapped option. Right. You're, you're capped at a buck 50, so just keep it in mind. Um, yeah, so sitting at about 57, and look, just as, so now we're only a penny away. Let's just see out of curiosity if that changes at all. There's our bullish, there's our bearish. A little bit cheaper, 47. Yeah. As that just ticked right back, and now we're kind of like right under that contract. So there you're paying basically no intrinsic value. And um, we'll see where those numbers shake out, man. We get those numbers in about five minutes. And let me, I'm going to just bring this up for a second. Let me just see what this contract. So right now, where are you? Okay, so we're up 1.7%. Dollar even. Yeah. And I think this is just a little bit delayed, that's all, which is yeah. why it's saying 57.86, live contract trading about 57.75. This is going to be interesting, folks. So we're right at the top of the range. Yeah. So this is, a, this is just even not, not even oh, yeah? the volatility out here today for this trade. Yeah. But that 57.81, you break topside and you, yeah. get, you get action. So yeah. this is going to be a big day. I mean, we haven't been uh, above this level going back to the beginning of November. Right. Um, and it's March. That's a good five months that we've been sitting under there, let alone how far we actually made it. I mean, you're looking at a low of $43 on the dot, and right. we're now approaching 60 Yeah, and that was on That's amazing. good old Christmas Eve when everything was rocking and rolling. 
Yeah, the oil companies didn't get any uh, presents from Santa Claus. Like Nobody got any presents yeah. except for the right. shorts, maybe. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, I was going to go to Top Live and just see some, because uh, they usually have the oil up here, right? Here's your stats. They might have some uh, tidbits. I was looking for maybe the API. You said maybe there was a draw. Let's see. API 2.58 was okay. the API for yeah. a draw last night. Um, and even, let's get in. We go into the whisper number sometimes, right? And let's see what maybe the expectation uh Oh, there it is. So it's closed, because I think they close it within like about five minutes. So they're looking for whisper number about two million barrel decline. Okay. Um, and that usually varies a little bit um, differently from the median analyst, but you can see even down here, right? They have the estimates 2.4, 2.5. We're looking for a decline somewhere around that API. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow is up 118. Nasdaq's up 40. S&P's up 14 and a half. Come right back. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 120, Nasdaq up 40, S&P's up 15, and, and we oil. we saw, right? I yeah. pulled it up and ticked off, so we had a decline of about 3.8, I think I saw. There we go. Crude oil inventories falling 3.86 million barrels. A little bit more. We might get a little price pop on that. You got gasoline, gasoline inventories falling 4.62, and there was, you know, the expectation. Oh, boy, look at this. The expectation was an increase of 2.5 on Bloomberg. Oh boy, okay. That's, that's quite a variation. And there's your pop. Uh, so we're trading 57.75. You got basically a 25, 27 cent pop right off the bat. Those contracts we were looking at down here, this would be your bullish spread. This one's gonna have a majority of the value right now. I say the majority because even though this contract being bearish is dramatically out of the money, um, you can see that even it's still you could close it out for ten dollars and take your money off right or something because you have 90 minutes of going in uh bullish contract though nonetheless that's you get thirty dollars of equity right now in the bullish you got about 10 in the bearish you can see that you know you only put up 47 right you need more movement than this but nonetheless i mean this is where it's a cool trade because you could if you didn't get what you wanted right away even you could say listen i'm just gonna i'm just gonna Close this out. Kind of, yeah, right. I'm going to take my $30 here. You know, I'm going to take my 8 to 10 here. And, and you're back at 38, 40. You know, it's not but the 50, end of the world. It's not. Yeah. No, it's not. You just might have wanted more of a react. Now, the other side is you say, hey, guess what? This should have gotten more of a pop here. I'm going to, and this is where I talk about both sides, right? Yeah. I'm going to close out my bullish spread, take yeah. my 31. I cut my risk down to only about $17, 18 Right. And then your bearish spread remains active. And anything under 57.75 becomes profit, and you're only risking about $18 uh, for that contract. And to be to get into this contract right now would cost you 14. So it's it's similar, but you, you know, as in yes. you're, you're just kind of taking off one side if you, if you didn't get the move you wanted. Point being, you can trade it throughout the entire time. But let's just check back because I wanted to see. Yeah. So there it is, quite a miss. You know, the med median estimate was a rise of three. Bloomberg survey was a rise of about 2.5. We ended up getting a draw of almost 4 million barrels. Pad 3 crude, a decline of 5.3. Maybe that's one of the biggest shakers in there in terms of driving that negative 3.8. Gasoline, minus 4.6. Estimate had been a decline of about 3 million barrels. Distillates off as well, a rise of 383,000 versus an estimate of decline of 2 million. Um, Refinery utilization, not quite where they thought. Estimate was going to be 0 0.5, only 0.1. Crude inputs, 30,000 barrels a day. Um, yeah. And one more check before we jump away, because sometimes... Well, you know, it's so interesting. What you have here, too, folks, is that you're busting into the top of this consolidation. Sure. So if this thing does bust open, sure. it could be a really a wild day. Yeah. You know, you, you know, when, you, when you're up at the top of the, this has been a long consolidation. So, you know, we'll see whether, if things are going to break topside. Uh, you get some, yeah, see this? Yeah. And 57.81, and the highs up there, they, it, that's. 55.17. Yeah. Just if we go to the right hand yep, side. Yeah, sure. Even, That's, yep, even further, these. Yeah, there yeah. you go. 57.81, right See, where we right, are. We're right at it. And how about this guy? 57.88. Yep, we're right at it. This is going to be. So we did get to 57.92 already, and it looks like so we are above 57.88. Yeah. 57.81. 
And uh, I'm just looking at some of what, like the high of this, 6011. And what's the high of this guy over here? Come on, 5870. All in the general range, you know, know what I mean, in terms I know, of like no, the, the, totally. the, the pennies, in my opinion, don't matter as much as seeing exactly how it just kind of handles this level in general. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. this with the battle, that's the battle line. The oh, battle yeah. line is, is set up pretty nice. Because right you can see, right, when you get above that, you're just dealing with from this point to this point. Oh, exactly. And that, the high is 76. If they can get above <laughs> it, it's clear sailing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, now this will still be delayed, but it's intraday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll see how this shakes out. Because yeah. you, you got a decent spike, but just looking at that right now, it doesn't look to me like that thing is going to hold. So Hold higher, you're talking yes. about? Yeah. I'm just going to check right. back even again. Yeah, so just hanging at that 58. Um, we're now five minutes past that news. Oh, 58.05, 58.06. We'll see what happens.